Hey, it's me, Nalthazar, and welcome to another Magic the Gathering Puzzle Quest video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over standard rotations. So, how does it rotate, ro what rotates with it, and when should you expect rotations? So, let's get into it. One of the most common questions that I see in my Discord or on the other different social threads for this game is people asking when is standard going to rotate and what is going to rotate with the standard rotation. And so hopefully this video will help clear that up for you all. Now in Magic Puzzle Quest, we happen to have Origins, which is an eternal standard set. It will always be standard. And then we've got now a Puzzle Master set, which will also be an eternally standard set that will always be standard. But beyond those two, Magic Puzzle Quest follows the Magic the Gathering card game in terms of how standard works. And so when Magic the Gathering winds up changing how their standard works, it will also change in Puzzle Quest. But otherwise, we follow it pretty much the exact same. So there will ever be a maximum of eight non-origins sets in standard. That is the maximum number of non-origin sets for standard. And so if we take a look at the sets that are currently in Puzzle Quest, we have Throne of Eldraine, that's the oldest of our standard sets. We have Theros Beyond Death over here, which came out in 2020. We've got Ikoria M21, Zendikar, we've got, oh, Kaldheim, we've got Strixhaven, and then the set that should be coming out next week, Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. Now, Adventures in the Forgotten Realms is going to represent the eighth non-origin set to enter standard, right? And these are just primary sets. These aren't subsets. In Puzzle Quest, we wound up getting a subset in the Theros block. But other than that, it's all just going to be based on the primary sets. So we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then when the ninth set comes out, that's going to be the Innistrad Midnight Hunt, we're going to get a standard rotation. And when a standard, when we get one of these standard rotations, the four oldest sets are going to rotate out. And with those four oldest sets rotating out, that's going to give us room for four new sets. Because the way that Wizards has scheduled releases in Magic is at this stage, they're just, they're hoping to be able to get four sets every year. And with those four sets every year, that means we get four new sets. And then as the four new sets come out and we start getting into the next year's sets, the four oldest sets rotate out, we'll get four new sets. And then as we get the next one for the following year, four are going to rotate out. And so the idea is to have a constant rotation and a constant um, matching of, of four sets, right? So with the upcoming standard rotation, we are going to be losing Throne of Eldraine, we're going to be losing uh, the Theros Beyond Death. We're going to be losing Ikoria, and we're going to be losing M21. That means that the four most recent sets, so Zendikar, Kaldheim, Strixhaven, and Adventures in the Forgotten Realms, are going to remain in standard. Then for next year, and this, by the way, should happen every single fall. So if you're wondering, like, when should I be looking out for a standard rotation? Standard rotations are going to happen every fall. So in fall, we're going to get the Innistrad duo of sets. So we're going to get Innistrad, Innistrad. We're going to get two more sets. These, I believe, are currently unknown. And then after these two unknown sets come, we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll get another one that comes after that. And then when the one comes after that, we'll have the, sorry, we'll have the, I forget, I'm forgetting about Zendikar here, right? So here we'll have our eight. And then when our ninth one comes out, we'll get a new rotation. So hopefully that clarifies that for you just a little bit. Keep in mind, right, if we take a look here at standard, the current standard is going to be these eight sets. And then if we look at what standard gonna look like once it rotates with Innistrad coming out, uh, you'll see that it's cutting off these last four sets over here. Right, so I'll have uh, an image to this uh, in the video description in case you just want to go ahead and download it and have it for yourself. Now, if we jump over to Puzzle Quest, right, uh, it would be really nice as you see in my little recording thing there with QuickTime. Uh, it would be really nice if we had a standard button. I think that would make this a heck of a lot easier just because we have so many sets. I know that this is something that a lot of people have mentioned. 
Um, but nonetheless, I think it'd be useful, especially because we have origins and we have puzzle masters all the way at the beginning. So as you're looking through your sets for standard, it's kind of a pain to just tap every single one. Now, if you ignore origins and puzzle masters for a second, you'll see that sets work very similarly in puzzle quest. So, right, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sets right there, right? Adventures in the Forgotten Realms has not out yet at the time of my recording this. That will represent set number eight. And then the ninth set, Innistrad, is going to cause our rotation. Now, you notice that I'm not actually including this set here that's flashing, right? This is because that set right there is the Daxos versus Kalemni dual deck set. Uh, and so that is a subset. That's not a full, complete expansion set, right? So for Puzzle Quest, this means we're going to be losing Urza. We're going to be losing Song of Creation. Thank the, thank goodness. Uh, we're going to be losing Theros, and we're going to be losing M21, right? Uh, in conjunction with losing Urza, I suppose that means we're also going to lose the uh, the Eldraine lands, which is actually a pretty big deal, but we're getting a new land cycle, so that's not going to be too bad, right? So when, when we get the standard rotation, we'll have Origins, we'll have Puzzle Masters, we're going to have Zendikar, we're going to have Kaldheim, we're going to have Strixhaven, Adventures in the Forgotten Realms, and Innistrad. So for those of you worrying that Adventures in the Forgotten Realms is going to cause a standard rotation, don't worry, that's not going to happen. Uh, we're not getting our next standard rotation until Innistrad comes out. And then we'll get four more sets. Those four sets are going to replace the four sets that are rotating out. And then when we get our fifth set, standard's going to rotate again. So I know I've repeated myself a few times. I'm hoping that with repetition, this helps the information sink in a little bit, just because I know that for some of you, this can be rather confusing. I hope this is helpful for you all. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section. I try to get back to as many questions as I can, and I'll see you in the next one.